Hello everyone, welcome you all to Math Bridges Fun with Math. We all know our Indian currency is rupee. We get it in rupees and coins. Have you ever observed on the coins like this the symbols dot, diamond or a star? If you have any coins, you can take it and you can observe. Now let's see in this video what is the meaning of the symbol on the coins in detail. We have four mints in our country. We will call it to be as Indian Mint Houses. Mint is the place where the coins have been manufactured. Like we have Mumbai, Mumbai Mint or Bombay Mint. We used to say it previously. Now we are calling it to be as Mumbai Mint. And next Kolkata Mint, Hyderabad Mint and Noida Mint. We have four mints throughout our country where the coins will be mint. These are the different symbols which have been given. For example, diamond shape and no mint mark. It means it's Kolkata, star shape dot mint mark let's see in detail about it these symbols are known as mint marks what do we mean by mint mint is a place where these coins have been manufactured these symbols they tell in which place or in which mint in the country the coin was made like for example if you take a diamond it's made in mumbai mint star it's from hyderabad dot if it's dot means it is from Noida. If there is no mark, it's been made in Kolkata Mint. And Kolkata is the oldest mint, so it did not require any mint marks. It was established in 1757. Kolkata Mint, that means there is no symbol. If you observe 1996 rupee coin, there is no symbol on the coin here. That means it, this coin has been manufactured, made it Kolkata Mint. Similarly, 2002 also, into, in the year 2002, the one rupee coins. On that also there is no mint mark. So whenever there is a no mint mark, we should understand that this coin has been made in Kolkata Mint. Mumbai Mint, we have different symbols over here. It can be a diamond, capital B, M. Uh, the name has been changed later to Mumbai, so they have changed it to M, U, or else two diamonds also. You can observe here, see here 1999, one rupee coin. There is one diamond. That means this has been made at Mumbai Mint. One more coin, 1991, 2001, 1989 and 1954 also. Here split split kind of two diamond. That means this has been made at Mumbai Mint. 1989, U is there. And 2001, you observe here on the one rupee coin, M is there. So you can observe on the coins what symbol has been made. So based on that one, you can make out easily in which mint it has been manufactured. These are the symbols on the coins which are made at Hyderabad Mint. Uh, double split one, the diamond. And inside a diamond there is a dot and it's a star. You can see 1996 is a 5 paisa coin made in 1967. You can keenly observe here. A diamond is there inside a dot. This is a star in 1989, a 1 rupee coin. 2 rupee coin in 2018, again a star is there. You can see the back side image of the two rupee coin and the front side image of the two rupee coin. If these symbols are there, you can make out that it has been made at Harabad Mint. Noida Mint and the symbol is a dot, a round circular dot on the mint mark it will be there. If it is a, the coins have been manufactured at Noida Mint. And the latest mint was established at Noida in 1988. You can see a 2000, the year 2000, the, the one rupee coin. A dot is there. 2010 also a dot is there. 1989 rupee coin dot is there. If a dot is there, it's from Noida Mint. This is as a recap. Till now you can remember if there is no mint mark, it's from Kolkata as it's the oldest one. So it does not need any mint mark. Diamond 1, B, M, U, this all belong to Mumbai Mint. And this double diamond also is belong to Mumbai Mint. And split diamond, it's Hyderabad. Inside the diamond dot is from Hyderabad, again star is from Hyderabad and Noida is a single dot. In between 2005 to 7, we have a special series of coins known as Unity and Diversity series. If you observe here, this 1 rupee coin, 5 rupee coin, 10 rupee and 2 rupee coins, we do have a special symbol on this. These four dots are said to represent four heads and the lines, the hands, perhaps symbolizing the north, east, south and western regions of India being united together as India. But this symbol was quite similar to the cross on deniers issued by Louis the Pious. 
which caused a controversy and the coin design was changed again. Foreign mint marks on Republic Indian coins. So, there have been occasions in the past when India has been faced with a scarcity of coin production. So, prompting mints located abroad to fulfill the coin demand. This coins minted abroad bear the following identification marks. You can see here 1997 star towards the right hand side corner. It's mean it's been manufactured at South Korea, Seoul Mint. Similarly, 2000, if you see here, it's made at Moscow Mint, Russia. And this is Royal Canadian Mint, 1985 C is written. Those who have the habit of collecting coins or else you ask your parents, any old coins, you can take it and observe. What is the symbol has been given on the rupee coin or the five rupee coin, two rupee coin. And looking at the symbol, you can make out in which mint it, it has been manufactured. Is it a foreign mint or the Indian mint? You can see a H is there. It is uh, heat and press mint. And this is uh, UK it has been made, 1919 in a tower mint. Tower symbol has been given. Like this, we have manufactured from the other countries also. Uh, this is the coins, the picture of the coins with the symbols. It's been given over here so that you can understand clearly. Here you can see here H is the 1985 H. So it has been uh, made at Heaton Press Mint. And Royal Canadian, a circle is there. And if you see here M and a circle, it's made at Mexico City. Those who have the habit of collecting coins, you can take your old coins and observe. Or if your parents are having any coins, just you see. Looking at the symbol... And looking at the mint mark, you can make out whether the coins are manufactured in our country or it is from the foreign mint. This can be taken as an activity which we can integrate with social, social and math integrated activity. Uh, you can ask the children to locate the Indian mint houses with symbols on the Indian political map. Or else you can ask them to identify the, and write the state and capitals where the Indian mints have been located or the neighboring states, what are the neighboring states also they can write it. Based on the level, you can take the topic. This can be integrated in the other way also. You can ask the kids to bring world map, ask them to write the different currencies and the different countries, ask them to color it and write the symbol of the currency also. Or else the foreign mints, what we have used in our country, the foreign countries who all have helped us to manufacture the coins that they can locate it on the world map. This could be a very fun activity for children where we are correlating with the social as well as math. Thank you for watching the video. Hope this will be helpful to you all. Like, share and subscribe to our channel Math Bridges Fun with Math.